and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizbeth, aka I'm a Mushroom. For all of you who are new to my channel, I'm a published author here in America and I make manga and artwork and all that good stuff for a living. So I made this channel to kind of like give you guys tutorials and videos and all that good stuff to make your artistic journey <laughs> towards reaching your dreams a little bit less paved in tears than mine was because girl, I needed help. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can be that help for you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my most favorite pieces that did not make it into my first ever art book for my series, Sacred. Oh, this one right here. I've always loved this piece. However, in recent years, I realized, girl, you do not look like you do in my manga, nor do you look like any of my recent artwork in the past few years. At least it looks better than how I did draw them in high school, but still. My artwork has really developed over the past few years and I'm finally able to draw my main character the way that I see him in my head. So I thought that maybe it's time to redraw this beloved piece and actually make him look like he does in the series. He doesn't even have the right eyebrows, girl. So. <laughs> I really wanted to recreate this piece and feature it in the art book, make the art book as special as possible. So I recorded the whole process and here we are. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step the drawing, the inking, what I use, how I color, how I pick the colors, how I blend, and um, most importantly, how I correct my massive Ooh. destructive mistakes when they happen because girl but they happen so guys that's what we're gonna do step by step how to draw ink and color the traditional way so without further ado let's get started step one sketching so i am going to be using a graphite pencil for the line art however for the wings, I am gonna use a little light green color pencil to make the line art nice and soft and smoky. I don't wanna use any ink or anything like that or any dark colors because I want the wings to look like smoke that kind of took on the shape of these spirits. Also, I am gonna have to censor out these little naked spirits because I don't know if YouTube is gonna be okay with little spirit. Um, melons and um, you know all that good stuff so <laughs> I do have the original line art from many years ago so I'm gonna be using that as a little base oh my goodness look at my boy look at my little mochi napping wherever I am so is that boy oh look at that little foot oh oh my god I wanna oh it's I wanna kiss that face anyway back to art so <laughs> So as usual, I like to do my little sketch, do my little line art, and then go in with a kneaded eraser to go in and clean up all those little areas. My favorite points to use are a .05 and a .07. They're a little on the thicker side, but for whatever reason, they work really well with my hand. So there I am with my kneaded eraser once again. I love this eraser. You get to, you know, point it and really get it to be that perfect shape that you need to get into the little, little corners and crevices. <laughs> so here's the old line art and there's the new face. I know a lot of you are thinking, I like the old face. Well, you know what? It's not your drawing. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. I just want him to look the way he does in my story, darn it. So here we are. <laughs> so far, so good. His little eyebrows, his face looks more like himself. Hi, baby. That pillow is so appropriate. Step two, inking. So for inking, especially when using alcohol-based markers like Copics or Prismacolor markers, I do love to use Microns and Copic liners. They are fantastic. They are perfect. They are my babies. So <laughs> when it comes to inking my characters, for instance, this character is a redhead. So I am going to ink his hair, his eyebrows, and his lashes with a light brown. 
and because his eyes are blue, I do prefer inking his irises with a blue liner with a little bit of gray. I will use black in some areas like I am here, just to emphasize certain curves and certain details. But I'm gonna go in with the light brown. I know that for you, you might not see the difference, but once it's colored, I'm telling you, girl, okay? It makes a difference, darn it, believe me, okay? <laughs> My favorite points when it comes to the liners are 005, which is super, super thin, and a 01. But for most of this piece, I'm just using the 005 because of how much little details there are. You see here, there's a really nice mixture of light brown and black lines. And here we are with the light green lines for the spirits. So when the line art is done, I will let it dry overnight. I am not gonna erase the pencils. I'm gonna go to sleep and let that bad boy dry for eight hours, okay? If I do not let it dry overnight, okay, it's gonna smudge when I go in to erase the pencils. So here I am the next day. I erased all the graphite. You see that smudge free, beautiful, clean, okay? <laughs> so here we are, you can really see where I added the black, where I added the brown. Wherever I want the details to really stand out a little bit more and not get lost in all the shading in the hair, for instance, I will go in with a little bit of black liner to really help it pop. Here's my little workspace, lots of plushies and a, oh, Priscilla, hey Priscilla, hey girl. Step three, coloring. So after I let the line art dry overnight, okay, and let the ink dry and cure, then it is safe to color. So I will go in with my lightest color first. That way I get to map out where I want the shading, where I want the deeper shadows, where the light source is, and I'll build little by little. I'll start building, building, building adding a little bit of the medium color, layering the lightest color. So now here I am going in with a darker color now that I've really figured out how I want the shadows to be on the face. Remember, markers are a wet medium, which means while it's still wet on the paper and you go in with a wet color on top of that, it is going to blend. So you're gonna see me blending in some really dark colors in just a moment and doing some really dangerous looking layering. <laughs> but the reason why I'm able to layer such dark colors and blend in such dark colors is I'm using a wet on wet technique. I'm really timing myself. I go in, I add some color on the paper and while the paper and that ink is still nice and wet, that's when I go in with a darker color, and then I'll go over the darker color with a lighter color to really blend it out and keep everything wet on the paper so that I don't get as much streaking. This technique is a little bit more advanced and really scary when you're not used to layering such dark colors. But you see that? I'm going over the super dark colors with some orange and a, oh shoot! You guys could actually see the painting I did a while back. Do you guys remember that? My OG mushroom family will remember this video. <laughs> so now we're working on the hair. Just like the skin, I typically like to start with the lightest color, but I do go in with a darker color first sometimes. It all really depends on what it is that I want. But for my main character's hair, He's a natural redhead, so I prefer starting with the lightest color to really get a nice, smooth gradient going. So I went in with some nice warm yellow, then went in with a nice orange. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna go back and forth a lot between the yellow and the orange. So while the yellow is still wet on the paper, I'll go in with the orange. While the orange is still wet, I'll go over that with the yellow just to really blend it out. 
and little by little you will see that I'll go in with kind of like a brick red and start adding in some darker shadows. I'm treating the yellow as the highlight of his hair. So in certain areas where I know his hair is bending a little bit and catching the light or where I know that his hair is facing the light source a little bit more, that's where I'll put the most yellow. And you'll notice in this little like weird cavernous <laughs> hairstyle that he has, I barely put any yellow at all. I went straight in with just the orange because that's where the most shadow is going to be. Unlike when I'm coloring skin with the hair, I don't mind streaking. I welcome it. I want it, girl, okay? <laughs> hair is basically made up of a lot of little strands and lines, so I tend to color in the direction that the hair is flowing and in the direction that the hair is falling. So it's made up of a lot of little lines, everything curving to the lines and the movement and flow of the hair. Here I am going in with an even darker brown and then going in and blending it out with that brick orange and that brick brown. A lot of layering is going on because I really want there to be some super deep areas of shadow because if you guys remember the original, you know that I'm redrawing in this video, the shadows were really intense. So I am trying to, you know, bring that into the new version. Boy, oh boy, everything was going so well. I hope a tragedy doesn't happen with my art piece. Right, Mochi? So, so far, so good. The shadows look good, but then I realized there was something kind of weird, girl. Something that I didn't quite like. Oh boy. So, let me tell you what happened. So what happened was, so remember how I mentioned earlier in this video that I'm gonna teach you how to fix your massive mistakes because they happen sometimes and they happen to me. So, so when redrawing this piece, okay, and using the original line art as a reference, girl, I was so focused on fixing his face I forgot to fix the anatomy of the hand, girl. And I also really hate the shadow on his nose. He has a giant hand. I hate the nose shadow, girl. It was a lot, girl. Girl, mm -mm, it was a lot. It was a lot. And I was just trying to stay real zen about it. I was like, you know what? You know who's always got my back? Paint. We're going in with paint. So I went in with gouache, okay? Gouache, she's my home girl. Always got my back, ride or die, every day, all day, girl. So, 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 but I was able to save it. I stood calm, okay, stood grounded, so I remained zen, and I made a game plan. I was like, we're gonna go in with paint, and gouache, she always got my back, girl. So that's what I did. And boy, did my paint really save the day. Do you see that? There's the new one. There's the old one with the giant hand, new one. You see that? Oh my gosh. And when you scan it, you literally cannot see the paint at all. But here, let me try to show you guys. Let me zoom in. There, I think you can kind of see the white paint, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. But it actually looks better because it got rid of like the line art too, made it softer. And then there's the nose. You can kind of see the little paint over the old marker shadow. Oh my gosh, I love it now. So there's the old face that looks nothing like him. And there's the new face. Oh girl, I love it now. I love this so much. Welcome to the family new version of my favorite piece. And of course, this piece is going to be featured in my art book, which is available right now. I'm so happy with it. I want to do something special to celebrate, so I wanted to create this video for you guys. I'm so excited that this art book is finally out. I, I, I've been working on this book for months now. It's, it's a little hard cover book. It's a matte cover. It's like powdery. Just, oh my gosh. Uh. So that's it. 
guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video and you found it useful please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your artist friends because hopefully they'll also find it useful and don't forget to leave a comment down there to let the algorithm know that you found it useful that way they can recommend my video to more artists like you who might actually really enjoy this video then let me know down there what other videos would you like me to make next. Please take care, God bless, and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care guys and see you next Thursday. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm back, beach. Can't get rid of me now.